Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my space engineers tutorial on how to spawn planets and asteroids if you want to spawn asteroids. As always I'm your host Sebastian. So three days ago Keenhaus Software released the long awaited planets patch but there's a downside at least for me. I don't really want to start over. I haven't really accomplished much here in this level but it's my let's play world and I don't really want to start a new world and I'm pretty sure lots of you out there aren't very happy <laughs> to go in a new world and start over again and losing everything. So let's go out of this world and I'm going to show you how you can easily spawn some planets. So first of all, uh, the world we were inside is this one. That's right, let's play old. I highly recommend you making a copy of your let's play, uh, let's play of your world. So if you messed up, you have a backup. An easy way to do that is just click on your uh, on your save game, go and save as and give it another name. Name already used, okay. <laughs> Copy. Copy. Okay. So this is a copy of this save game. It has another it uh, shows you other time because you created it just now. So then you go on your copy and make go to edit settings and you have to change your game mode from survival to creative. If you're already playing in creative you don't really have to change anything. So go on creative and click OK. I already done that in the past uh, and mess around a little bit so I'm going to load the world I tested it. So this is my it's practically the same world I just messed around with it in the past as you can see but I'm going to show you how you can do that. So where are no there are no planets. So look at the Look at the place you want to place the planet and then click shift plus F10 and you have the spawn menu. If the spawn menu don't show up you forgot uh, probably to change your game mode to creative. So now you can choose if you want to spawn asteroids but we don't want to spawn asteroids. I just mentioned it so you know how you can spawn asteroids. So. You select planets and here you can decide how big your planet, not really asteroid, is going to be. We are going to go for the max 120 kilometers, generate a random seed and let's make it Earth-like and then spawn asteroid. And there you've got it, there's your Earth. So much a lot of the people probably want a moon right next to it. So let's spawn a moon. The moon in real life is probably a quarter in size. I'm not right sure. It's between a quarter and a third. I'm not sure. So let's make it about... Okay, that's close enough. And let's make this one... I don't know. You already can choose Titan and Europa, which are, if I remember correctly, not in the normal scenarios yet. Let's choose a Titan one and spawn it. And there you see a problem. This is just the quarter of the size of this, but it's nearly the same size. So the problem is not that the ratio is off, if you have a look at the big big numbers 120 kilometers 304 uh, 30 kilometers I'm sorry the problem this appears a lot of 
lot bigger than it is is the difference or the, the, the it's much more uh, closer to you than this one you can see this is 19 kilometers uh, away and this is 370 so far I figured out if you uh, take the number of the size of your planet times 3 so 120 kilometers times 3 is 360 here is 370 then you have the distance between you and the planet the problem is this is much too much uh, close to us so there comes our fancy little <laughs> ugly ship so I just build it in creative some ugly ass ship with jump drives on it you can spawn some stuff from the steam shop if you want you can always flex it down if you have placed all your all your planets and then uh, yes drop it down get rid of it okay already rendering around okay so this is 19 kilometers away it should probably be the same distance as this one so we should probably jump let's say 200 and let's say 270 uh, in this direction okay so where's our jump drive 270 okay that looks fine to me jump drive one and let's make the jump so you basically have to do a little bit of math <laughs> to get it done right or you don't mind at all but I I mind so there is the earth a lot a lot closer let's change camera position so we want the moon over here so let's spawn another moon same size as before generate some seed let's go for a moon one this one and spawn asteroid and there it is uh, it's a little bit closer this time but it's uh, roughly three times the duration between you and the planet you are spawning so let's jump back where is our home this is very important before you do any jumping if you are not uh, familiar with the game right now you should probably uh, make a waypoint you can just make it in GP in the terminal and GPS new from current position you should of course do that before you jump <laughs> You probably never will <laughs> get back to your position so let's jump back to let's lose the second one home select there's some little bug right now we have to blind nah we have to blind jump I already tried this once Yes, I selected that. Did we jump so so far away? No, we did not. Okay, there's some kind of bug. You can't really jump to waypoints right now. Oh, I'm stupid. Both accept <laughs> acceptable reasons. So 200... Okay, 200... Okay, this is a bit, little bit too much. I don't care. So let's jump back. Oh. For almost forgot I need the jump drive to jump okay I really love the, the sound of the jump drive getting always getting excited <laughs> so where's our home coordinate uh, we, we had a little bit of over jump so let's get out and have a look have a look what we do now you see this is much more uh, accurate 
Not really accurate. This is accurate too, but it's too close. It looks a little bit... A little bit... I don't know. I don't like it. And so now you should know how you can spawn planets and spawn them at the right place. So, if you like this tutorial, leave a comment, give a thumbs up, subscribe, watch our other Let's Play series. I'm Sebastian, signing off. See you next time. There's a fucking killer. Ah! Bear trap, bear trap, bear trap, bear trap! <laughs> oh fuck, there's another one. Mr. Lagerfeld! <laughs>